This is my 2011 Chevy Suburban 2500 and today I'm going to show you what I had to do in order to do an electric fan swap. So this originally had a clutch fan in it and it was loud, didn't perform very well and uh, especially on the steeper grades here in the, in the mountains in Colorado um, when towing. And so I want something that was a little quieter, didn't drain the power as much and would perform a little better so I did the 7 and 9 blade. Uh, fan electric fan set out of a Cadillac Escalade and uh, it came with the full harness and everything to do the swap but I ended up just making another harness um, off out of the Escalade one because there were quite a few things that were different from this ha original harness so I just ended up running the harness I made right along it for the fans but still pinned into the connector under the fuse box um, I would show you how to do that but there's plenty of videos on how to how to do that part of it. Um, you'll see the connector and you'll see where the pins are. You just put the pins in exactly where they would have been on whatever the original harnesses that you had. Um, so where I had the problem, and there's other videos on how to do what I just was talking about, but where I had the problem was on HP tuners. And it took me forever to find where to do all these settings for it. So originally, this 100, the fan PWM frequency at 128 hertz, that was blank. Number of fans fitted, that was zero. And then you leave discrete. So whenever you open this up, this will be blank, this will be blank. All you do is you type in two there, and you type in 128 there. No big deal, you can find lots of support where it says to do that. But my fans still went run unless I turned them on manually, but the computer didn't turn them on as the engine heated up. And right here, uh, there's this one, the state versus desired percent, output control versus state, and desired percent versus ECT. Those are the three ones that, um, I only had to change one of them, but I'm gonna show each one and what I had to set them to in order to get these fans to run. And that way you guys would have it as a reference. So this one wasn't blank and I didn't have to change anything here for my particular vehicle, but this is what those set points were under fan state transition desired percent versus current state. And then my output control versus state, this one was blank. This one was all zeros. So all those ones I had to put in there. And I ended up finding a screenshot in the form that had this and I tested my luck and it works perfectly. So this is what I set it to, and this worked for me, but these were all zeros originally, and this was, I believe, the reason why my fans were not kicking on. And this is the fan output control versus current state. And then the desired percent versus ECT, that matters as well. Um, I didn't have to change anything here, these were all the same, but just in case yours might be different, here's what it is. But. I saw that there's a real need for a video like this because I know I struggled. It took me two days to find the information by searching through the forms. Um, they work great now and uh, it, uh, as far as my fuse panel, it should be out the same for all like two GMT 900 trucks. Um, whether it's a 1500, a 2500, any Suburban, Escalade, anything that came with the clutch fans. All the things in HP Tuner should be the same. And then they should all already come with these three relays. This is your high, your fan high, fan low, and your fan control. And then you have your 40 amp fuse for it. Um, all that is already there. So basically you unclip these, pull your fuse panel out. This harness right here is right on the inside and it stays stuck to the bottom. It's the only one that comes in on this side in the front of the fuse panel um, you just unclip that and you can pull that out and you can either replace the little harness or you can do what I did and just repin it and then run your new harness going to your to your fans it, it's up to you on what you want to do but uh, that's how mine went that's what worked for me um, you guys have a good day I just wanted to add that if anybody has any better ideas on how to do that or if there's parameters I didn't do right. I'm not a professional. 
I've been messing with HP tuners for about two weeks now. Um, if there's a better way to do it or other things that I missed, let me know. And I'll post another video and update mine and show everybody how I did it.